a big moment. First time ever tossing pigeons. Three, two, one. All right, there they go. Oh no! Hello everyone and welcome back to Pigeons Rock. Today is a very special day. We are going to be releasing the birds for the first time away from the loft. So I've picked out a spot over the hill here. It's across the river at a cemetery. It's exactly one mile away. I think it's gonna be a perfect place to toss them for the first time because it's very close and hopefully they can fly by sight and find their way back here. So who's flying? I'm taking all 21 of the pure white homers and we're gonna go over there and release them. But of course, I can't release the birds unless I have something to put them in, so that is the next bit of news. I have picked up a carrier. So here's the carrier. I picked this up from a buddy in my pigeon club. He said it holds about 20 birds. So you have the top where you can put them in. And then for releasing them, you turn these little guys, you put this down and they come out. What I like about it is it's very lightweight because of all the canvas on the sides and it's gonna hold all of the white homers. It does need a little TLC, needs a new handle here, and it could use some paint and probably some new canvas. So I think in a future video, we're gonna be restoring this, but for now, I love it. I think it's gonna work perfectly. So what we gotta do next is get all the birds in there, and that should be a lot of fun. Okay, so I'm not actually sure how to get them into this thing, so I'm gonna try doing a little bit of feeding and see if I can just pick them up one by one and throw them in the carrier. No, it's okay. Just eat. Just eat. I really got to put a spring on this door. Two down. So I don't know how I'm gonna grab them all. They're too afraid to come in and eat with me in here. So I might just block them in here and go one by one, hunting them down like the old days. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go old school here. We're gonna force them all back into the loft by blocking off the doorways here. And we're just gonna wrangle them, round them up. I've caught a few pigeons in my lifetime. I'm not scared. See what I'm doing here? I'm blocking it off. So now, they can't go out in the aviary. Let's do this. You can run, but you can't hide. Here's Daddy Dave. My other fear is that they're gonna fly out this door that doesn't have a spring on it. Well, boy, do we need some improvements to this loft. Like a freaking door that closes. Good idea. Alrighty. Okay, who's ready to be next? Grab one, put them in, that's three, four, I'm here to help, five. Okay, got them all wrangled up. Boom. That's really heavy. That's way heavier than I thought it would be. I'm not looking forward to carrying that. Okay, so. Here they all are. These are my 21 white homers. We're gonna take these guys across the river over to the cemetery one mile away and release them. Let's get to it. All right, we got them all loaded up in the car. They're all fighting in the back. Jeffrey, don't hit your brother. No, we're not there yet. So here we are at the cemetery. I just need to pick out a good spot to let them go. All right, you know what? This feels like a good spot right here. I choose here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, this is it right here. Wide open. So we're right behind U of R campus. So you can't really see it, but there's a big library tower right there. And directly on the other side of that is the river and then my loft. So we're gonna release them here and see how they do. I'm excited. All right, little guys. This is a big moment. First time ever tossing pigeons. 
All right, these guys are ready. I think I've let them sit long enough. We're just gonna go for it. We're releasing them facing the loft, so hopefully they fly right up and head on home to the ranch. Three, two, one. Come on, these are the most hesitant birds on earth. Oh boy, you're kidding me. Come here, bud. Holy crap, you just got hit by a hop. Come here, come here. Come here, buddy. Come here. What's your number? Come here. Oh, jeez. Not good. Not good. We lost the bird. A hawk got him. The rest, uh, they seem a bit confused. Here they are. There he is with my bird. There's his accomplice. Yeah, you killed my bird. So I guess this is just one of the hardships of keeping pigeons is that there's loss. Today this guy got one of the birds and I can't really hate him for that. He's a hawk. He's just doing what he knows and that's eating pigeons apparently. So I didn't think hawks could catch my pigeons but I was wrong. I see the birds. All right, so we're back at the loft. They are all here. As you can see, I don't know how many made it back, but I do know for sure we lost one. So I don't know what number he was, but rest in peace, little guy. You died doing what you love. All right, so I'm gonna try to wrangle these guys up. I don't know if I would call that a success or not. Losing birds is an integral part of keeping pigeons. You're just gonna lose them. Hawks are not going anywhere. So I just have to accept that that's a reality and keep my spirits up because if I lose the passion for everything, every time I lose a bird, I, I you know, I would never keep pigeons. So. As much as it's hard to, to lose a bird, I just gotta keep my spirits up and keep enjoying the hobby. All right, well, I gotta get these guys in. So I'm gonna try to entice them with some feed and we'll go from there. All right, well, the last of these guys are coming in, so we'll get a final count for the next episode on how many came back, but there are quite a few in there already, so that's the good news. We did lose a bird today, and we won't forget them, but uh, we'll keep flying them. Thanks for watching Pigeons Rock, and I hope you have a great day.